Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about the Bard Rock Chicken and everything you need to know about that breed and if it's the right breed for your flock. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to the website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the Bard Rock Chicken is a hardworking member of the backyard chicken flock. She's beautiful, calm, and she's a productive member of any flock. One of the America's first and finest poultry creations, she has been a worldwide success for thousands of poultry breeders, enthusiasts, and backyard keepers for well over 100 years. So let's start off with the history. This is one of America's oldest breeds, first putting an appearance in the mid-1800s. The first barred specimen seemed to disappear from the landscape despite being shown at the Boston, Massachusetts show in 1849. The breed reappeared in 1869, when a Mr. Upham of Massachusetts bred barred roosters to Java hens to create the prototype of the barred rock, although others lay claim to the breed. At this particular time, the Dominique hen, also a barred, was a top-rated winning poultry show. At this time, the standard for Dominiques and eventually barred rocks was a bit lax. Breeders could exhibit Dominiques or barred rocks in both breed categories and win both categories because the comb could be either rows or single. This seemed unfair for many breeders, and eventually the New York Poultry Society set the standard as a rose comb for Dominiques and single for barred rocks. Needless to say, this upset a few people and confused the owners of either bird. Eventually, things settled down and the two breeds became separate entities in the competition. The barred rock, or also known as the Plymouth rock hen, became the basis of the broiler industry in World War II when breeders had produced more productive breeds of hen. They were almost single-handedly responsible for keeping meat, protein, and eggs in the American diet through the time of rationing. They remained popular as backyard hens because of their hardiness, docility, and productive traits. In the 1930s, the barred rock production bird was introduced to breeders and farmers alike. At one point, the breed excelled in eggs and meat areas and nearly drove the purebred heritage hen to extinction. Fortunately, the bird has enjoyed a resurgence of popularity and is now listed as recovering by the Livestock Conservancy. All right, so now let's talk about the appearance and the different varieties. The first of the varieties appeared in 1884 when Mr. Frost exhibited his white barred sports. The Plymouth Rock Club was formed in 1897 to promote the breed. In 1890, R.C. Buffington exhibited buffs for the first time. The partridge variety made its appearance appearance in the Madison Square Garden Show in 1910 and was accepted to the APA in 1914. Shortly thereafter, the Columbian Rock appeared in exhibitions and was accepted in the APA in 1920. In 1922, the Silver Penciled emerged and was duly accepted into the APA. The Blue Variety was the last to be accepted by the APA. The overall appearance of the Barred Rock Hen is a large, vaguely triangular shaped body with sharply defined barred black and white feathers. It should be a hardy looking bird with a five pointed single red comb and face. Eyes should be bright and alert. Full breasted with the long back, the bird gives a lot of meat to those interested, raising them for table fare. Once the birds get to know you, they will be friendly creatures, often tapping you for treats or affection. All right, so now let's talk about the standard and disposition. The APS, American Poultry Society, accepted the Bard Rock to the American Poultry Association Standard 1874. In the US, seven varieties are recognized. Only five are recognized by the Poultry Club of Great Britain in Britain, but the Entent European de Avicultura et du Cuniculture recognized 10 variables. As far as the disposition goes, the Bard Rock is a friendly, sweet, and docile bird. Partly why it has been a favorite hen for so many years, yet they are not known to be mean or bad tempered. It suits backyard life well and is easily integrated into a modest family setting. They have a very unfussy demeanor and will be at home in confinement if they have sufficient space. They also love to forage and it's a skill that they're great at. The eggs and the broodiness, let's talk about that. The Bard Rock lays an ample amount of light brown, medium, large eggs. She will lay in the region of four eggs per week or 200 plus eggs per year. Production strains will lay well for the first couple of years. Then the output will start to decline. With the heritage strain, laying will go into the third or even fourth year, but be less overall per year. Although not overly broody, you can persuade them to brood if you keep a few eggs in a nest with the hope of encouraging them. They make good broodies once they get the hang of it and are good mothers as well. Chicks feather in pretty quickly too, so they are ready to go outside pretty early. They weigh well over the first few weeks weeks, months, and considered broilers by 8 to 12 weeks. Now let's talk about the health issues. This is a healthy, strong bird with a great genetic background, so she has no real health problems to speak of. The combs of the roosters may need some care during severely cold weather, and of course, 
internal and external parasites need to be monitored. Otherwise, they're fairly maintenance-free birds. So is this the right breed for you? If you have a small backyard enterprise and want a quiet, docile, friendly egg layer, the barred rock may be your bird. They are not very noisy except for the egg song that they love to sing and would make a great addition. They adequately provide the egg department for a mid-sized family and hens will reach around seven and a half pounds and make a well-proportioned table bird. A roosters will be about one pound heavier than the hens. They are not pushy or overly assertive. Barred rocks would rather walk away from a confrontation, although they will stand their ground if pushed. The breeds they pair well with are Dominiques, Barnvelders, and Feverals. Like I said before, they tolerate confinement pretty well and their distinctive barring gives them some camouflage against actual aerial predators. The roosters can protect their girls, so be cautious with small children, especially during the breeding season. They can be great for a 4-H project and are great broodies once they get the hang of it. Like I said before, they make a valuable, non-threatening and relatively cheap endeavor into the world of self-sufficiency or farming. So to summarize, it's a hen suitable for many locations from larger farm operations to small backyards, wherever you need a quiet, dependable layer. The quietness of the bird bodes well for urban setting where neighbors are always a consideration. The plumage gives reasonable cover from predation in general, as well as aerial predators, like I mentioned earlier, and a rooster can be kept as an early warning system to alert you if any danger. A few barred rock hens will keep a small family in eggs with some to spare each week, so they more than pay for their keep in product and entertainment. All in all, the barred rock is well suited for life as a backyard hen with low maintenance and high productivity. What more could you ask? That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website with that. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.